Established in the 1600s, these are the second set of vineyards ever planted in the Cape, and Johan Fauri is their latest custodian. Oh my, what a glorious office you have here. I can see why you're so inspired. Yeah, I thought, uh, let me show you where it all starts for me. It starts out in the vineyards, all good wines starting with good grapes. And then as far as my inspiration goes and clearing the mind, it all starts on the saddle. That's really where I get a lot of my thoughts and ideas and, and creativity when it comes to winemaking. When it's just me in the outdoors and even better if it's in between the vineyards. This really is such a popular wine region, but what grape grows here in particular? Yeah, over the years we've learned the uh, Paul grape growers that um, Shiraz and Chenin Blanc is best suited to, to this region and the growing conditions. This specific property we're standing on is delivering fruit to our winery and because these soils on this property is decomposed granite, it's very well suited to the production of sparkling wine, so that would be Chardonnay and Pinot Noir. So even though we are in Paul, we also have diverse soil types, so you just have to align your grape varietal with the specific soil type as well. Well, all of this talk of grapes and wine, I'm quite parched. Now, should I race you down there for a glass of wine? <laughs> Since the 1920s, wines made here at the foot of Paul Rock have been exported. The KWV label helped make the reputation of our industry abroad. And the fact that Johan won Diners Club Winemaker of the Year shows that he is the man for this job. So tell us about the wine that won. Well, the, the one we've entered for the Diners Club was the 2013 Pinotage, which sits in our Mentos range, which is our flagship tier within the KWV portfolio. What we do with this Mentos tier is that we only bottle those varietals that perform exceptionally well in a particular vintage. And 2013 was one of those great vintages for, for Pinotage. That really is sensational. It is quite a modern taste though, it's easy drinking. As a winemaker, what does it mean to be awarded the title of Winemaker of the Year? Well, it's uh, only happened a couple of months ago, but thinking about it, it's all still a bit unreal, the, the night having your name announced. But um, I think it's a, for me, it's a great acknowledgement of the work that we've been doing for the last couple of years at KWV. You know, upping our wine styles and quality and really focusing on, on what we're doing in, in the winery. What would you say the impact is of the Diners Club Winemaker of the Year Awards on the industry? So being on, on the list, uh, I always knew it was one of South Africa's top accolades for, for winemakers to pick up, but never did I realize that the Diners Club Award goes beyond the borders of South Africa. And the recognition you get from outside of South Africa was quite surprising. What is your winemaking philosophy? Thinking about it, I would say it's, it's somewhere between the, the exactness and the precision of the science involved and the, the artistic unknown or being creative. You know, it's somewhere in between those two. Maybe I'm just a bridge in between bringing the two together, I guess. With Johan's wife, Tanya, specializing in the marketing of wine, they're a formidable double act in the industry. So what do you think of your husband's fine talents? Yeah, he's done some amazing things and he's really got a passion for what he's doing and it's coming through in his wine and his work. So 